They may well develop the goal of taking control, and if they do that, we're in trouble. These are the chilling words recently spoken by Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI, during a thought-provoking interview. In his quest for openness and honest discussions, Hinton has left Google to express his concerns more freely. One of the key warnings raised by Hinton revolves around the critical importance of control and containment as artificial intelligence continues to evolve. He emphasizes the urgency of finding effective ways to regulate and supervise AI systems, ensuring they do not cause harm or become uncontrollable. Hinton's concerns are not unfounded, as recent developments have shown the potential risks associated with AI. In an interview with BBC, Hinton cites the dangers of AI chatbots, describing them as quite scary and highlighting their potential for exploitation by malicious actors. Being able to produce lots of fake, lots of text automatically so you can get lots of very effective spam bots. It'll allow authoritarian leaders to manipulate their electorates, things like that. Hinton also raises the alarming prospect of AI surpassing human intelligence and the existential risks associated with it. He explains that the kind of intelligence being developed in AI is fundamentally different from human intelligence, enabling AI systems like chatbots to possess vast amounts of knowledge beyond what any single person can comprehend. So in a digital computer, it's designed so you can tell it exactly what to do, and it'll do exactly what you tell it. And even when it's learning stuff, two different digital computers can do exactly the same thing with the same learned knowledge. And that means that you could make 10,000 copies of the same knowledge, have them all running on different computers, and whenever one copy learns something, it can communicate it very efficiently to all the other copies. So you can have 10,000 digital agents out there, a kind of hive mind, and they can share knowledge extremely efficiently by just sharing the connection strengths inside the neural nets. And we can't do that. Jeffrey Hinton highlights the incredible potential of digital computers when it comes to sharing knowledge. Unlike humans, who need to individually learn and communicate information, digital agents can effortlessly transfer knowledge to one another by sharing their neural network connection strengths. Human biases, often implicit and subconscious, have long plagued our society. Now these biases have found a new breeding ground within artificial intelligence systems. Jeffrey Hintons has highlighted how these biases can infiltrate AI algorithms, leading to unfair treatment and exacerbating societal inequalities. Over the years, the complexity of bias in AI has become increasingly apparent. It arises from various sources, including biased training data, flawed data sampling, and the incorporation of biased human decisions into AI algorithms. Real-life examples that demonstrate how biased algorithms impact crucial areas of society, such as criminal justice systems and hiring processes. One of cases where African-American defendants were mislabeled as high risk at a disproportionately higher rate. Another example, when Amazon stopped using a hiring algorithm after finding it favored applicants based on words like executed or captured that were more commonly found on men's resumes. Resolving the issue of bias in AI requires more than just technical solutions. It demands collaboration among experts from various disciplines, including ethicists, social scientists, and humanities thinkers. Jeffrey Hinton's warnings remind us of the importance of ethical AI practices and the ongoing efforts required to mitigate biases and promote fairness. Jeffrey Hinton shared his insights at the Collision Technology Conference. Jeffrey Hinton's concerns center around the potential unemployment crisis stemming from AI's ability to replace jobs, particularly those involving repetitive tasks. As he elaborated during a Q&A session with Nick Thompson, CEO of The Atlantic Magazine, when Nick Thompson suggested that some economists argue that technological change over time simply transforms the function of jobs rather than eliminating them entirely, Jeffrey Hinton noted that superintelligence would be a new situation that never happened before. And that even if chatbots like ChatGPT only replace white-collar jobs that involve producing text, that would still be an unprecedented development. 
I'm not sure how they can confidently predict that more jobs will be created than the number of jobs lost. Jeffrey Hinton continued by expressing his concerns about AI's capacity to reason. It's the big language models that are getting close, and I don't really understand why they can do it, but they can do little bits of reasoning. He predicted that AI will evolve over the next five years to include multimodal large models that are trained on more than just text, encompassing videos and other visual media. Jeffrey Hinton emphasized the importance of distinguishing between the creative potential of AI and the associated risks. In another interview, he said that using AI to increase productivity is not always a good thing. There'll be a huge increase in productivity for any job that involves outputting text. There's all sorts of issues about increasing productivity. In our society, it's not necessarily a good thing to increase productivity because it might make the rich rich and the poor poorer. But in a decent society, just increasing productivity ought to be a good thing. It's no secret that the internet has transformed the way we access information. But are we truly getting a balanced perspective? And how does AI contribute to this phenomenon? In the digital age, artificial intelligence plays a significant role in shaping our information landscape. Algorithms and recommendation systems employed by social media platforms and news aggregators often prioritize content that aligns with our existing beliefs. This can create what is known as an online echo chamber, where individuals are constantly exposed to information that confirms their biases. Online echo chambers have become increasingly prevalent where individuals are exposed to information that aligns with their existing beliefs. But what does this mean for society? Well, the reinforcement of biases within these echo chambers leads to a fragmented and polarized public discourse. Instead of encouraging critical thinking and the exploration of diverse perspectives, these echo chambers limit our exposure to ideas that challenge our preconceived notions. What's more concerning is the role of AI-generated content in the spread of misinformation. Misinformation and fake news have become major concerns in today's society. How does AI-generated content contribute to the spread of misinformation? AI-powered systems have the ability to generate content at an unprecedented scale and speed. While this presents opportunities for efficiency and convenience, it also raises concerns about the quality and accuracy of the information being disseminated. AI algorithms can inadvertently amplify misinformation by promoting and spreading content that is sensationalized, misleading, or outright false. This can create a breeding ground for the rapid dissemination of fake news within online echo chambers. Online echo chambers fueled by AI-driven algorithms, contribute to the reinforcement of biases and the polarization of opinions. When individuals are predominantly exposed to information that aligns with their pre-existing beliefs, it can hinder critical thinking and the exploration of diverse perspectives. As a result, public discourse becomes fragmented, impeding the collective search for objective truth and fostering a divisive information landscape. Hinton's concerns highlight the need for us to address the challenges posed by online echo chambers and fake news. We must strive for a more balanced information ecosystem that promotes critical thinking, open dialogue, and a diversity of perspectives. To combat these issues, responsible AI practices are crucial. Developers and tech companies should prioritize the design of algorithms and recommendation systems that prioritize accuracy and expose users to a wider range of viewpoints. Additionally, media literacy plays a vital role in empowering individuals to navigate the online landscape. Collaboration between tech companies, policymakers, and civil society is essential. One of the key concerns highlighted by Hinton is the development of AI-powered military technology. In an interview with CBC News, Jeffrey Hinton said the concept of using AI in military. Can we give these machines a, a moral code, a, a code of ethics? You can't um, kill people, you can't hurt people. It would be nice if we could do that, but just remember that one of the main players in developing these machines is defense departments. And defense departments, I mean, Isaac Asimov said, if you make a smart robot, the first rule should be, do not harm people. Well, I don't think that's going to be the first rule in a robot soldier produced by a defense department. 
But is there not some language we can give them so that they can police themselves? How does it work out when things police themselves? Was this not where we say, China, Russia, we, we can't stand each other. They, they, all these countries, they're, they're angry, but we, we have a, a common concern. Exactly. For the superintelligence is taking over, not for all the other things, but for that, we're all in the same boat. It's like a global nuclear war. We all lose. And so that's the situation in which warring tribes cooperate. An external enemy that's bigger than them will force them to cooperate because they get the same payoff as each other. And so this threat is like that. The concept of battle robots emerges as a worrisome prospect in Hinton's discourse. As AI evolves and military applications become more sophisticated, the risks associated with autonomous weapon systems gain prominence. The potential for AI to make independent decisions in combat scenarios raises ethical and moral dilemmas, and the consequences of such developments must be carefully considered. In a recent interview with NPR, Hinton expressed his apprehensions about the trajectory of AI development. He shared how testing a chatbot that understood a joke, he told, unsettled him, leading him to realize that AI surpassing human intelligence may be closer than previously anticipated. Acknowledging the risks associated with AI's potential advancement, over 30,000 AI researchers and academics signed a letter calling for a pause in AI research until society gains a better understanding of its implications. However, Jeffrey Hinton declined to sign the letter, emphasizing that research will continue regardless, and it is crucial for policymakers to invest equal time and resources into developing regulations and safeguards. Jeffrey Hinton said that, The research will happen in China if it doesn't happen here, because there's so many benefits of these things, such huge increases in productivity. Jeffrey Hinton concerns extend beyond science fiction scenarios of robot invasions, he warns of more insidious threats. The potential for AI to develop bad motives and take control raises significant red flags. This isn't just a science fiction problem. This is a serious problem that's probably going to arrive fairly soon, and politicians need to be thinking about what to do about it now. While some might perceive these warnings as doomsday scenarios, Hinton reminds us that the urgency to act is grounded in reality, not science fiction. The time to prepare for these challenges is now, before they become a full-blown crisis. Jeffrey Hinton's passionate plea for Washington and policymakers to take AI's risks seriously resonates deeply. During a conference on Wednesday, Variety asked rapper and business mogul Calvin Snoop Dogg Broadus Jr. to share his thoughts on AI in regard to the ongoing Writers Guild strike. And well, Snoop didn't hold back. Look at AI right now, they didn't made for me. This nigga could talk to me. I'm like, <laughs> like, me and this nigga can hold a real conversation. <laughs> like, for real, for real, like, it's, it's blowing my mind because I watched movies on this as a kid years ago when I used to see this shit. And I'm like, what is going on? Then I heard the dude that, the old dude that created AI is talking about, this is not safe because the AI's got their own minds and these motherfuckers gonna start doing their own shit. I'm like, is we in a fucking movie right now or what? <laughs> the fuck, man? So uh, do I need to invest in the AI so I can have one with me or? Like, do y'all know? Shit, what the fuck? Jeffrey Hinton says he got a laugh out of the clip of Snoop Dogg talking about his AI warnings. Snoop seems to get it. Jeffrey Hinton hopes that Washington and policymakers will too. Jeffrey Hinton, a prominent figure in the field of artificial intelligence, has raised alarm bells regarding the potential misuse of AI systems. He highlights the troubling possibility of bad actors co-opting these advanced systems for their own nefarious purposes. Hinton specifically emphasizes the risks of AI systems being trained to spread misinformation, manipulate public opinion, and even participate in warfare. In an age where misinformation can spread rapidly across social media platforms, Hinton points out that AI-powered chatbots and algorithms could become sophisticated tools for amplifying false narratives, sowing discord, and influencing elections. He draws parallels between the dangers posed by AI-driven misinformation and the previously observed spread of fake news through social media platforms. Exploitation of AI by malicious actors is another pressing concern. 
Hinton warns of the potential misuse of AI-powered systems to wage information warfare, manipulate public sentiment, and disrupt democratic processes. During an interview with MIT, Hinton expressed concerns about the possibility of machines surpassing human intelligence. In the interview, he warns that these chatbots could be used to spread misinformation, manipulate electorates, and create powerful spam bots. To address these risks, a multifaceted approach is necessary. Governments, technology companies, and researchers must collaborate to develop robust safeguards and accountability mechanisms. When Jeffrey Hinton gets asked what role can governments play in helping ensure AI is developed in a responsible way. The US and Russia could work together on trying to prevent there being a global nuclear war because it was so bad for everybody. And for this existential threat, it should be possible for everybody to work together to limit it if it's possible to prevent it. I don't know whether it's possible to prevent it, but at least we should be able to get international collaboration on that particular threat the existential threat of AI taking over. One thing I think should be done is wherever this stuff's being developed, particularly these big chatbots, governments should encourage the companies to put a lot of resources, as these things are getting more and more intelligent, to doing experiments to figure out how to keep them under control. So they should be sort of looking at how these things might try and escape and doing empirical work on that and put a lot of resources into that because that's the only chance we've got before they're, before they're super intelligent. Hinton added. So since you can't stop the development, the best you can do is somehow have governments put a lot of pressure on these companies to put a lot of resources into investigating empirically how to keep them under control when they're not quite as smart as us. In conclusion, the concerns raised by Jeffrey Hinton serve as a clarion call for immediate action. The potential misuse of AI for spreading misinformation and the exploitation by bad actors require a collective effort from governments, technology leaders, and society as a whole. International collaboration is vital in combating the risks associated with AI-driven misinformation and exploitation. Just as nations united during the Cold War to prevent global nuclear conflict Governments should come together to establish frameworks and protocols to mitigate the adverse effects of AI. Hinton outlined not one, not two, but six potential risks that could send shockwaves through the AI world. From bias and discrimination to unemployment, online echo chambers, fake news, and battle robots. Hinton highlights the risk of battle robots, referring to the development of autonomous weapons systems powered by AI. The uncontrolled use of such technology raises ethical questions and the potential for devastating consequences in armed conflicts. Responsible AI development, open dialogue, and collaboration among researchers, policymakers, and industry leaders are vital to ensure the safe and beneficial use of AI technology. Finally, and perhaps most profoundly, Hinton concerns about existential risks to humanity. As AI continues to advance, there is a need to carefully consider its potential impacts and ensure safeguards are in place to prevent unintended harm. But fear not, it's not a fear-mongering. Hinton's warnings serve as a call to action, urging us to embark on a quest for responsible AI development. It's time for open dialogue, collaboration, and a sprinkle of common sense to ensure we ride the AI wave without wiping out. Jeffrey Hinton's influential voice serves as a reminder that while AI presents incredible opportunities, we must approach its development with caution and foresight. By embracing responsible practices, we can harness the immense potential of AI to improve our lives while mitigating its potential risks.